Hey guys, welcome to Makeup In Session, episode number two, where we go over everything brows. Girl, the brows, the brows, the brows, the brows, okay? In episode one, we talked about the foundation of having an effective skincare and the reason why you need an effective skincare. So if you missed that video, run back, watch that video and come back to episode two. It's better if you watch these videos in order so that you can have a step-by-step -step guide and you won't be all over the place or confused like i said on makeup in session episode one i do not use a primer if you don't know why i don't use a primer and why you shouldn't be using a primer either and why you don't need a primer you need to go back and watch that video babe so you will you can catch up and save some money okay because primers are expensive and you don't really need it so let's not waste money we're doing an affordable baddie everyday makeup look okay when it comes to your eyebrows, you can use a brow pencil or pomade. I went through my phase where I used a pomade as well as a phase where I'm now using a brow pencil and I just love a brow pencil better. Either or really works. It really just depends on your preference and the look that you like, but I like my eyebrows more so with the brow pencil. So that's what I've been using these last few years. So with your brows, you want to brush your hairs up. My hairs are pretty wild. I'm pretty sure if you have eyebrows you can probably relate to your brow hair has been all over the place and you just want to lay them down so brush up and lay them down and that helps to clean them up so you can see exactly what you're working with like what shape are your brows and what guide should you be following when you're doing your brows now the eyebrow pencil that i i'm using right now is the nyx professional eyebrow pencil and it's in the shade dark brown all of these are linked in my Amazon storefront as well as the other brow pencils and pomades that I've ever used that work good. If you're a pomade girl or if you just want to try a different pencil other than the NYX, I have several options in my Amazon storefront for you, so check that out. All of the products in my Amazon storefront I stand by, so it does not matter which one you choose. I think you would like any of them. I've used these products for years at a time and I love them. And I stand by them. I don't use anything different. So there's three different methods that you can do with your eyebrows. And I also have an eyebrow ebook for beginners that's going to be linked in the description as well. You can purchase um, to learn the three different methods, but I'm going to be showing you just one today. And it's the most common method, which is the outline method. And if you're a person who don't necessarily have brows, like maybe um, your brows kind of stop here, you don't really have an arch or you don't really have a tail. A guide that you can use is brow mapping. And for that, you want to sit your brow pencil right here, like right up next to the crease in your nose like this. And that will show you exactly where your eyebrow needs to start. If you move it, that will show you where your arch should be. And then if you move it again, keeping it flush with this, start with the crease in your nose, that will show you where your eyebrows should end. So you can see my eyebrows are pretty full. They're there. All I have to really do is outline. But for those of you who don't really have much of a brow, are you creating your own brow? That's how you can determine where your brow should start, the, where your arch should be, and where it should end, your tail. I'm using this pencil, and I'm using this to for the spoolie because I'm not using that. <laughs> I can do nothing with that. If you need to, when you're mapping out, you can use your brow pencil and put a little line just to show you where you need to be another line right there and then a line at the end where the pencil stops so that it can help to guide you as well if you need that when you go in with your brow you go in light go in lightly because you want your brows to look as natural as possible because remember this is an everyday makeup look for beginners so you don't want your brows to be extremely heavy you want them to look as natural as possible within soft beat okay my hands shake but you will never be able to tell that my hands shake when i do my makeup because of how i place my hands so when you're doing your makeup if you use your pinky as a stand i call it a stand i don't know why but a stand basically and you just place it where you need it to to stabilize your hand that would help to keep your hand from shaking so much so that you can get the perfect line don't go hard on yourself when you're drawing your line for your brows because you'll be able to clean it up with concealer and I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that as well. So you go, my brows are here, start right here. So I go in ever so lightly and basically trace it out. You guys see that? trace it out like that and then when you're adding your hairs at the front you want to add do like hair like strokes so just shoot it up like that and 
And as you do that, you want to continuously pivot back and forth with the spoolie as well as the eyebrow pencil to add the product so that you can see what you're working with. Disperse the product on your brows and see what needs to be done. Okay, so I pretty much am okay with the front for the most part. We got what we need down, and now we're going to go in with filling in, and you just do like little strokes the way that your hair is laid. So my hair is laid to the side because we laid it to the side, so now we're doing little strokes. And my tail is right there, so we bring the product down a little bit past the tail because once we conceal it, it's going to shorten it anyway, so that's fine go in with your pencil and start to outline the top of your brow and you just follow that natural arch I'm not going to hold you your brows are a lot easier when you have full brows and you all you have to do is really just outline them and but don't be discouraged if you don't have brows because you can still get the same results. It's just going to take you some practice. It's going to take practice in general if you're a beginner with your eyebrows, whether they're full, sparse, or not there at all. So I think I'm pretty much okay with these brows. Like, I don't have... For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm showing you the most common eyebrow method, but typically because my brows are full, I would do a different method than this. I kind of like to erase this line a little bit, so I use my spoolie to erase it just a tad bit in the front, and then I'll clean it up as I need to. You see? And once again, you do the same thing. Brush these again, because most times my brow hairs have moved by, by this point. Go in, do the same thing you did to the first one, to the second one. You do the placement at the bottom. Now you can do hair like strokes going up. Brush the product through so you can see what's going on, what, what you're working with, what you need to fill in, what you need to add, erase. And if you need to erase something, just use your spoolie. It'll erase it if you, if you keep doing it long enough. It will erase the work that you've done. And it's because I'm used to my brows now and I know how to do them. If you need a better mapping placement, you can also go ahead and do your the outline of the top and bottom brow. And then fill in if that makes it easier for you. As you learn your brows and you start doing your brows, you'll learn different techniques that work for you that'll help you to get your perfect brow that you love and that works for you. And my brows grow differently. This one is a lot fuller than this one. So I have to um, kind of go up a little bit so that they match in terms of up in here. Because up in here, this one doesn't grow the same as this one over here. So I have to make them match. Alright, so it's looking a little bare right here. So I'm going to go in and add some product here. And then I'm going to erase this line up under here just a little bit like I did on the other side. And I like doing that because it makes it, it gives it like a natural gradient um, look. So you see, I haven't even cleaned them up yet and they you could pretty much go like this if you if you wanted to, but we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna go ahead and conceal our brows. Now for concealer, I have been using the same concealer 
for years. All of these products, you guys, I don't switch up my products. What works for me works. I, I have been doing my makeup for eight years. I'm also a makeup artist. I've been doing clients makeup for two to three years. I think it's going on three years. So whatever I use on myself, I use on my clients because I know it works. And I know that it works for all skin types because I have not had a client complain yet, okay? Fingers crossed, because you just never know. But I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Now, when you go in with your silk concealer to conceal your brows and clean them up, if you like the lighter look, I know some people like to go really light with their concealer. If you like that look, that's fine. I, however, do not like that look whatsoever. My day-to-day -day makeup, my all-time favorite makeup look is a natural everyday makeup look. I love for my makeup to look airbrushed with a flawless finish and very just simple to the point and just chef's kiss. I don't like all the extra stuff. So I use the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer and I normally, I typically use Beautiful Bronze, which is my exact shade but um i'm out of it so i'm going to use the espresso i don't know if this color is the one darker or lighter a little bit lighter than that one but i think it's a little bit darker so i use this and it works um as far as makeup pencils i have had these makeup pencils for years ever since i first got into makeup i've had these most of these pencils so a lot of these brands um aren't on here i think this was vanity this was vanity something but all you need is a brush a makeup brush like this and makeup brushes that i love that you can get that's inexpensive and affordable at your local drugstore or at your local ulta um are the morphe brushes love those i know y'all have heard about those the morphe brushes or the real techniques from walmart or walgreens also with the real technique brushes you can get those from tj maxx the low okay just just to put y'all on they have them at tj maxx um but you know tj maxx is kind of hit or miss because their inventory can change up so but i've always been able to find the real technique brushes and it's the brushes that's like this it comes with like five or six brushes for like 20 bucks if you get it at walmart i think it's like 12 or 13 dollars if you get it at tj maxx perfect for a beginner and then you also need to get a brush just small like this for your brows so that you can get a more precise um cleanup and so i just go in like this not too much and i just start to carve and because i erased that front of my line with the spoolie if i still can see the residue from it i'll go on top of it to go ahead and erase the rest of it if that makes sense but if you like for your line to show then you just go directly under it and clean up think of lining a picture how we used to line it with a marker and color it in with a color pencil or a crayon think of your makeup like that you're creating precision okay and it does not take much at all Also, what helped me too, um, to keep from moving my hands so much, because like I said, I do have shaky hands. Um, I would also use the motion in my head to help guide me as well. So how you guys saw that I was lining like this, I was still moving the pencil really slowly, but I'm also was moving my head with it to help me to um, keep the line pretty straight. So don't focus on it too much. Just let it flow. Don't don't apply too much pressure. When you apply too much pressure, it messes up the line and it makes the product smudge and go every which way but where you want it to go. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, use your pinky. That's the plate that's to hold my hand a little bit more steady. Stamp and slide. And then once my hand starts moving, I can pretty much hold it as steady as I need to without keeping my finger. But if you still need to, you can. And what you want to do is bring that to those two, bring the the concealer that you made under your eye, under the eyebrow, and the concealer line that you make on the top, and make it cross, so that it's creating that pointy um, 
tail for you. And then just any other extra product that may be there, you want to go ahead and go like that. And then I'll go in with my Real Techniques. This is the 314. And go ahead and blend just a little bit. I don't really focus too much on the blending here because once I apply my foundation, I do go over it anyway. So it's going to blend regardless and it's fine. <laughs> um, sometimes I do go ahead and bring it down and go ahead and conceal my eyelids. So go ahead and prep it for your eyeshadow um typically i don't wear eyeshadow so i still go ahead and prep it though because i just don't like that discoloration look you know what i mean so i'll go ahead and do that like that and then we go to the next brow and do the exact same thing nothing more nothing less And boom, this is how you do your eyebrows. Go in. Now, I would suggest a concealer that's one to two shades lighter if you're going to be applying eyeshadow, depending on the pigmentation of your skin. Now that wraps up episode two, Eyebrow Secrets for Beginners. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please comment down below in the comment section and I will respond to everyone as fast as I can. Um, don't forget to check out my Eyebrow for Beginners digital ebook to learn how to do the other two methods. This is only one method. This is called the outline method. The second method that I have is for the sparse brows and the third method that I have is if you have little to no brows at all. Um, so be sure to check that out. The link will be in the description bar. All products used in this video will be in my Amazon storefront. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in to episode three of Makeup in Session where we're going to be going into the foundation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.